Good afternoon, I'm Shanti Klein Balaji, and this is my Mikva Soapbox speech. I'm pretty certain that everyone can agree this is a very stressful time. We are stuck inside, left with little to do except simmer in our fear and watch the news. But what's interesting is that most of what we are watching is not acknowledging the even uglier truth behind Corona, a truth that cannot be blamed on the virus itself. It is so easy to sit from a place of security and privilege and worry about the things that might affect you when you're being presented with little to no knowledge of what is happening outside of your bubble. Specifically, how communities made up of predominantly people of color are being hit harder with coronavirus. Due to deep-seated prejudice in some news outlets and fear in others, isn't really being directly addressed except for an article here or there. Now, components of this issue include situational factors such as people of color having problems finding jobs and economically supporting themselves, which could result in families having to live in close quarters, not eating well enough, and not being able to afford the necessary health care when problems like corona do occur. Because at this point, this isn't just a matter of general injustice. It is a matter of a large portion of the population being endangered on the basis of low income, which is related to race, sex, gender, gender, sexual orientation, age, and other situational factors. It is a matter of millions of people dismissing that injustice. It is a matter of these people perpetuating their fear and not understanding the problems with consumer culture and how it affects certain communities and how the government is handling it. And that needs to change. Now, this isn't an easy fix. Ideally, there would be enough resources to help lower income communities deal with the impacts of this virus. And in this hypothetical, people who have the advantage, the upper middle class and enough resources, would stop overbuying and leave some necessities for the poor, like toilet paper, for example. The richer people should see reason to donate to organizations actually helping the entire population because it is cruel to sit surrounded by endless money and amenities while half the population is suffering. Some companies are already switching to certain resources such as manufacturing masks and gloves, but ideally the primary concern would be aiding the disadvantaged communities and not making revenue by playing off of the fear of the upper middle class consumer. And finally, there would be extreme community outreach through social media and possibly fundraising. Well, some parts of the scenario are currently happening, it isn't enough. There are some minority outreach programs that exist for the purpose of aiding not just poor communities, but specific groups of people of color, undocumented immigrants, genderqueer groups, low-income workers in general. Some examples are listed on Mikva's national resource page, such as Latinx therapy, helping immigrant communities, and POC swap, which I find the most intriguing because it focuses on mutually beneficial aid through social media. So what can you do? Well, first of all, you can make sure yourself and those around you are aware of the inequities that are occurring. Obviously, and if you're like me and you're lucky enough to live in a mostly, mostly stable situation, it must be acknowledged that you will never entirely understand what certain people are going through. However, it doesn't cost much to spread ideas and to help people become aware of resources that are available to them. And if you do have money to spare, you should put it towards health organizations. Finally, involve yourself in your community. Whether it be virtual or a series of neighborhood outreach programs, anything will help the situation. Also remember to social distance, and thank you.